peace be with you, my friends. Happy Monday. For those of us in the United States, happy Labor Day, in which we thank God for the gift and uh, of work and the dignity that it brings to us. So thank you, God, and thank you for joining us. I'm Father Ron, and this is the God Minute. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Lord, open my lips. And my mouth shall declare your praise. Psalm 119, Falling Short I do love you, O God, and your will for me is the delight of my heart. I have a sincere love for many people who cross my path and I rejoice in the privilege of serving them. And yet, O Lord, there are so many people whom I do not love. The demons of bigotry and apathy, jealousy and selfishness plague my soul and numb my sensitivities. They stay my hand from reaching out to help others. I sin against you and I sin against them. And I need to be restored and renewed by your loving touch. While I fall short of my sincere intentions to abide with and in your will for me, your promises are eternally secure and you tenderly and patiently rekindle the fires within me to do that which I cannot do myself. I love you, O God, and I gladly accept your will and purpose for my life. Now bless me and grant me the grace to walk within your purpose. And then I shall have the joy of knowing that I am pleasing to you. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Gospel according to Mark. When the Pharisees saw him eating with the sinners and tax collectors, they asked his disciples, Why does he eat with tax collectors and sinners? On hearing this, Jesus said to them, It is not the healthy who need a doctor, but the sick. I have not come to call the righteous, but the sinners. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. God. It was a warm autumn evening in Ann Arbor, Michigan, on September 10th, 2011. The Michigan Wolverines are playing their bitter rival, the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame. As if the rivalry isn't special enough, it is the first night game at Michigan Stadium, or as it is more commonly known, the Big House. While I would like to give you the play-by-play of the final drive and Michigan's monumental win, all you need to know is that my beloved Wolverines won that night. After the game-winning touchdown, there was a moment I will never forget. Looking around, you see grown men hugging, crying, and cheering. And as the team stormed the field, me and 114,000 of my closest friends sang Sweet Caroline as we relished in our great victory. This scene is what I believe the kingdom of God is going to be like. People united by one common thing that brings us together to create something greater. Now I promise you everyone in that stadium was a sinner, even myself more than I would like to admit. However, as we hear from our reading today, Jesus came for the people like you and me. He came for the sinners. As we go throughout our lives, Christ knows we will fall short. The reason we all go to Mass is to continue to acknowledge our sinfulness and to accept Christ again as we begin another week. 
That is why one of my favorite parts of the Mass is the penitential rite during the beginning of our liturgy. If the congregation is honest with itself, we all need Almighty God to have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. So when I look at that group of jubilant Michigan fans, I can't help but think the kingdom of God may resemble it in some way. Everyone there had a story, and everyone there is a sinner, but we were all united by a single goal. I believe that goal is a longing and love for Christ. And with our hearts and minds turn to God, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, make me an agent of reconciliation, forgiving from the heart those who do wrong, yet at the same insisting on truth and responsibility. That is a life shaped by the cross, honoring both mercy and justice at the same time. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. May the Lord bless and keep you and shed his light upon you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. A quick heads up, folks, before we leave today. Uh, just tomorrow, we our newest member of the Godmina team is with us starting, and he's offering our reflection. His name is Anthony. Going to love him. And then on Thursday of this week, our second newest member of the team joining us, she's a daughter of charity, Sister Carol Schumer. And she's offering the reflection on Thursday. So much good stuff going on. Thank you, God. Thank you. And thanks for all of you for joining us today. Have a beautiful one, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>